Hi, Katie Anna. I'm Katie Lopez. It's September the 10th. Here's your latest news update. For the 20 year anniversary of 9-11, Acadiana will host the will honor the lives and those who continue to work first responder jobs, knowing what others in their shoes have been through. Happening today in Opelousas, they will be giving out plate lunches to first responders to thank them for their service. And then happening on Saturday morning in downtown Bro Bridge, they're going to host a 5K to commemorate 9-11. A significant part of this year's race is a most patriotic award for the best costume, showing patriotism and to also honor first responders with their own 5K category awards. And uh, we have that registration info over on KTC.com. The Louisiana Military Museum will host a Patriot Day banquet in Abbeville tomorrow from 5 until 8. Now that event uh, will be an elegant evening and will include a special 9-11 tribute, a catered dinner served by celebrity board members, and an hour-long patriotic musical performance by the National World War II Museum's Victory Bells. Auction proceeds and ticket costs will help raise funds to unveil a brand new exhibit that supports the museum's mission to honor our vet veterans and remember their stories. Many of us are frustrated with the nearly 80 million Americans who are still not vaccinated, even though the vaccine is safe, effective and free. President Joe Biden is taking executive action to get more Americans vaccinated. His plan includes requiring vaccinations for all federal employees, but he's also eyeing the private sector. The Department of Labor is working on an emergency rule to require employers with 100 or more employees to require vaccination or a negative test once a week. UL students have 11 days to get at least one dose of a COVID vaccine. With next semester's registration starting November 1st, the university is recommending that students get vaccinated as soon as possible so that, that way they're able to register. Those wishing to opt out of the vaccine will have until the 20th to request medical or religious exemptions. As, uh, and the students have their own opinions. Those are over on KATC.com. As the recovery and rebuilding from Hurricane Ida continues across southeast Louisiana, more than 8,000 troops with the National Guard continue offering assistance, operating 68 distribution sites across 13 parishes. They have distributed right at four and three quarter million meals, more than 208,000 tarps, which, by the way, is a record. Never before have these many tarps been given out. Almost 6 million liters of water have been distributed, more than 815,000 bags of ice, and a quarter million sandbags. Three Acadiana parishes now eligible for the Army Corps of Engineers Blue Roof Program. People who live in Iberia, St. Martin, and St. Mary parishes can apply. The program provides homeowners in disaster areas with blue tarps to cover their damaged roof until repairs can be made. You can find more information plus a link to apply inside of this story on KATC.com. And a reminder, if you or someone you know is impacted by Hurricane Ida, the deadline to register for some FEMA disaster assistance programs is this weekend. Ida survivors must inform FEMA of their needs by this upcoming Sunday in order to receive financial or rental assistance. And today is the deadline to join us in giving the joy of reading to a child. It's part of KATC's Scripps Howard Foundation, If You Give a Child a Book Campaign. Now, there are two ways that you can donate by either going to KATC.com slash give a book or texting KATC to 345345. The books will be going to students right here in Acadiana. Again, the deadline to donate is today. Temperatures getting up to about 88 degrees this afternoon. It's going to be warm out there, but it is much, much drier, so it should be very, very comfortable outside. Comparatively speaking, of course, you got temperatures getting down to around 63 overnight tonight. Nice weather going all the way through into tomorrow. Now, by Sunday, things start to change. Sunday evening, you get clouds, showers. Those start to arrive in the late evening. They will last on through into parts of next week as well. So a pretty soggy forecast coming up in the long term, but the short term today and tomorrow, absolutely stunning weather. Our first real taste of fall.